Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Data with Dominic. And in today's video in our KQL series, it's still just a setup video. And today we're going to show you how to ingest some data into the Azure Data Explorer cluster that we had created in the previous video. If you've not watched that, I'll link to that a video where we basically just used uh, the Azure Data Explorer free trial to create a free, free cluster so that we can work with uh, the Custo query language. And today, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can ingest ingest some data into that cluster or database uh, just to uh, start practicing uh, Custo or exploring Custo. So just uh, catching up from where we left off, we had this, we created this data with Dominic free cluster. And within that data with Dominic free cluster, we had created this uh, demo database, right? And those of you who are trying it after October of 2024, you have access to this try new get data. So just um, make sure that's on so that we can follow through the same UI. I think the older UI is still available, but uh, just keep it on because anyways, it's going to change in the near future. So let's uh, dive into how we can get started with uh, adding some data. So we come over here to this My Cluster tab. In this My Cluster tab, we see ingest data. So ingest data, we have a few sources. We have local files, which are just flat files that you have on your system, S3 buckets, Azure storage, which is your ADLS blobs or Gen2, and Event Hubs. Event Hubs is streaming data. It allows you to ingest streaming data into your uh, ADX. So uh, you can work on data that's coming in at real time. So we're just going to use Azure storage. Uh, we have some sample data in a Azure blob. So we're going to be loading that. And yeah, so this is the UI that we see. Uh, and basically, it's the first step that we need to do is select a destination table where you want the data to be loaded. So currently in this uh, demo database in this free cluster, we have just a random table called test, which I was just playing around with. And for now, I'm going to load data into a new table. So I'm going to call this uh, table storm events because that's what our data is related to. And I just hit uh, this tick button here. The table is created and selected. Uh, coming to, I'll share this uh, um, sample data URL. It's basically created by Microsoft to get started with Custo. Uh, I'll, I'll link, um, I'll add this link in the description right at the top of the description for this video so you guys can uh, follow along quickly. Um, but basically this data is um, storm events data and the data is coming from uh, contain this storm event sample data set contains weather related data from national centers for environmental in information. So that's what this data is. And we'll dive deeper into the data in the coming videos. But for now, once we have that uh, URL or URI, what we can do is just click add URI, move to this tab. The other one is basically if um, your Azure account is the same account that you've used to link um, to this ADX uh, free cluster, then you can navigate into your ADLS file storage and find a container and a file that you want to work with. Uh, but for now, we'll just use URI. And then at the end of the URI tab, we have this plus button. UI is a bit clunky as of now, but I'm sure they'll work on that. So once, that's, once you click that plus button, just click next, and then you see your data and the schema, and you see a sample. Once that is done, you can just hit finish. And it creates the tables, creates the mapping, and then begin, begins to ingest the data into uh, your table in this demo database in the free cluster. So that shouldn't take too long, especially for this file, not more than a minute. As you can see, it succeeded. And then we can hit closer. You can explore some of these. Um, uh, to-do guides from Microsoft, but um, for now, we're just going to click close. We come back to our uh, query tab where we have selected the um, demo database from the D D data with Dominic free cluster that we created in the last video. So just verify that it's working. And now we have a function called show tables dot show tables, which shows us the tables that we have available to us in uh, the this particular database in the cluster. So we have two tables, that test one I was talking about earlier, and now we have storm events as well. So to view your data, this is your first slice of 
Custo, you can just write the table's name and then when you run, you get, sorry, there wasn't a space. You just write the table's name and when you run, you will, it's basically like doing a select star from uh, in uh, SQL. So it just um, queries the whole table and returns all the rows of the data in that table. And especially for streaming data, when it's generally large data sets, you don't want to do this because there'll be tons of rows of data and it will take a long time and a lot of compute uh, to, to execute the query. Um, it's loaded for now since this uh, sample data set only has about 59,000 rows. Uh, but for any real use case, that would be quite a compute intensive query to run. So normally what people do is just to figure out that the data has been loaded properly, you can um, do a pipe under directly under where you wrote the table name and write take and specify a number. So take basically is like the limit or select top in SQL where you can specify the number of rows to be selected. So the pipe operator is just the way the syntax works in KQL. The next video will be diving deep into this particular syntax. But for now, if we just do a take 10 and from storm events and run, you can see we get 10 rows returned um, with all columns. So that's it for this video where we showed you how to ingest data into your ADX free demo cluster. Um, from the next video, we'll be going diving deeper into the KQL language itself. A lot of the functions, the commands, the syntax. Uh, so definitely subscribe um, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of those updates. Uh, we hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.